A very sad update for you this morning here on Fox Weather. First, the death toll continues to rise in Turkey and Syria after massive earthquakes uh, hit there earlier this week. The death toll has now surpassed 11,000 and thousands more are injured. This all is now happening two days after two massive earthquakes hit Turkey as well as Syria. And a search and rescue teams are racing around the clock to save anyone they can. Yesterday, right here on this program, we spoke to uh, the Turkish ambassador to the United States, and he says any donations are much appreciated. Winter clothes for children, winter clothes for people living there. Also, you know, warming blankets, diapers, any kind of basic needs uh, that that's needed in, in the region is well appreciated. And the world has since responded. The L.A. Fire Department is going to be sending nearly 70 search and rescue uh, members of their team out there to assist with the search and rescue efforts. But many first responders are going to have to contend with the weather because we continue to see temperatures going all the way down to the upper 20s and low 30s. And it's important to note here that for many of the buildings over in Syria and Turkey where this happened, they no longer have power. And that means they don't have heat. So, you know, Britta, Unfortunately, we're going to see, I think, the death toll really rise here, especially, you know, in these uh, after in the aftermath of this, just because we don't have electricity, you know, for a lot of people. So that means we could be talking about frostbite uh, as well as hypothermia. Yeah, when you're talking about trying to do rescue efforts with temperatures in the 20s and the magnitude of the job that has to get done, it becomes very complicated. And we had, you know, a little bit of a, a clip of a firefighter from Los Angeles yesterday that was talking about the importance of hope. And, you know, I think that that's what the international community can bring is that focus of hope. Because take a look at the scope of this and those weather conditions. It's really tough to get this work done. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way. So make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.